Hi everyone, in this video I am going to talk to you about some pitfalls that you may face if you are a, a newbie or you are existing seller on eBay but you opened up a new account. Right, so first pitfall you will come across is eBay will hold your payments up. So every time you sell something on a new account eBay will hold the fund till you fulfill that order. That's the first thing. Second thing is what eBay is trying to do on a new account is to see if you are obeying by the rules. Meaning, when you open up a, a new account they want to see track records right so how do you get the track record and it, if you it it does not matter whether you are you 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 are selling you've been selling on ebay for 10 years 20 years 15 years but because you opened up a new account they will treat you as a newbie and you may not get the same sort of limit you have in your prime account and if you talk to them, they will give you a bit of limit. But then they will still put a restriction on, on the selling. Every time you sell an item, the, the item will get hold up. The payment will be hold on hold till you fulfill it. And how do they even know you fulfill that order? Is when you sell an item, the tracking number you load up. Then once the tracking number is loaded, and is delivered then they will release your fund or normally they will hold up for 21 days before they release your funds after the sale and you have to sell show them first sales of 25 items or 25 sales before they review your account or you have to have an account, whether it's private or on a business account. You have to have an account for 90 days, which is three months, before they treat you, start treating you as creditworthy, in other words. So whenever you're starting a new account, make sure you bear in mind that they will hold your payments up. So the first thing to do if you're a newbie, do not start selling high ticket item. Means don't start selling item that's worth 100 pound plus or 100 dollar plus, 500 dollars, whatever. You know, start at the bottom end. Like 199 299 399 you know less than 20 pound or less than 20 dollars to build up your feedback once you start building your feedback they realize you're okay and then they slowly will release and get to know even though they know you so for the the groom well groomed seller the experienced seller who has been doing it for such a long time even though they'll know your track records, but that doesn't give you the right for the new account. They will treat you as a newbie. And you can talk to them, do whatever you like, but they will still take you as a new account. They will treat everybody the same. So because eBay wants to safeguard the buyer from the scammers in other words okay so if you're thinking of starting a ebay selling on ebay open an account make sure you bear in mind if you're a new seller it doesn't matter they will hold your payments up so make sure when you're starting out make sure you start on a smaller items to build up your reputation another way of building your feedback is to buy products 
from eBay you know you buy things you need and that way you build up your feedback and you know you don't have to go and buy expensive stuff you can go and buy little things like for say 199 299 399 whatever keep on buying it till you start building feedback once you build the feedback it doesn't matter whether it's buyers feedback or sellers feedback whatever it is and when they start seeing and people go into your shop they see it they start trusting you so that is very important you should do that and recently I'm going through the hustle of every time I have called somebody it goes to Philippines it's very difficult to make them understand and I had so much issue with my second account I sometimes wonder why, why am I bothering to have a second account for it's such a hustle but I'm almost there and few following videos I show you my plans and, and so on and so forth what I'm doing and so in this video this is exactly what I'm going through at the moment I will discuss in further videos what is happening and my plans or what I'm doing for the drop shipping I'm trying to learn about drop shipping so I'll go through a series of videos um, so in this video, uh, you know, I hope you uh, learn something from this video. It just if you're opening up a new account on eBay or your existing seller, even a second account, make sure you have enough fund to fulfill that order. That's what they want. They will hold up your payments for a new account. It doesn't matter if if you're a great great seller, you've been selling for donkeys years. They will still treat you as a newbie on the second account so that uh, that was it for this video I hope uh, it helps you out a bit um, and the best thing you should do is keep on touch with eBay any problems you just give them a ring and you chat it over keep chatting over you know and they like that kind of thing they like the interaction in between the the seller and eBay team they they're there to help you they're in we are in a boat sort of same boat eBay wants to help the sellers seller wants if you want to get more out of eBay give them a ring to tell them about your plans and everything but um, you know I can really tell you or I'm, I'm sure if You've gone through the same experience that I'm going through now is when it comes to the second account it does not matter how well you do in your prime account what it matters is they will treat you as a newbie and they will hold your payment up it has happened to me already so many times and I'm almost coming up to my 90 days of trading on my second uh, account which they want to see 90 days, three months trading. And they also want to see over 25 items sold. So I'm almost there. But because this second account of mine is, I'm trying a drop shipping. So if I were to sell the things I'm selling at the moment, it would be easy peasy to get that kind of feedback within a month. But because I'm new to dropshipping and I'm learning as I'm going along, it's taking me a bit of time. But I've just started the bull roll and it's working for me. So the next series of videos, I will tell you the pitfalls and my plans for dropshipping, how I'm learning or not learning. And hope you can find, get some nuggets. And I tell you, as I go along, I would not hide anything. I will literally give you the nuggets what sort of stuff I'm selling not selling what is going wrong for me I will share with you a journey that I want to go along without hiding I've seen tons and tons of videos out there so-called YouTube 
gurus out there, the eBay sellers, the the eBay sellers, so-called sellers, tons and tons of videos out there teaching you do this, do that, dropshipping this, dropshipping that. I've seen it, I've done it, I have got a t-shirt. You know, I spent tons and, you know, I spent hundreds of hours watching these videos. And sometimes you get sick and tired of it, people telling you the same or same old nonsense at the end of the damn video you well their interest is to flog you a course you know click this click that go to your course and buy their product and do this and do that and it's some of these things are useless you know so i am not going to tell you you know go on click this link and go to a product and go to this, go to that. All of the series of videos, I'm going to tell you my pitfalls so you can avoid those pitfalls that I'm going through and learn a few things from me. Each month, instead of producing a chart to show you what the taking was, I will literally give you the item that I've sold on dropshipping at that month. So you know exactly what sort of item to go and sell. That would be a great thing. So you can go and check it out. I'll physically give you for that month the item I've sold and the suppliers. So you can go and do it. I do not care about the competition. The competition, the more competition is more better. It's better be to be honest up front. So whenever you go to my shop, the second shop, which I showed you in the other videos, I'll literally physically show you my dropshipping site, dropshipping um, the account. Um, and you can see it for yourself. I even said it, I told on my introduction site that I am product sourcing. So product sourcing means is drop shipping. It's a technical term eBay uses for drop shipping. It's called product sourcing. I even state that clearly. Look, these, these are not my product. I am a third party seller. I use I get stuff from other people and I fulfill it. And I do the same thing as I do in my Prime account. I have no issue. And hopefully the people who are buying it, they're not going to get some issues. You know, you hear the Guru saying, oh, hide this, hide that, do this, do that. What do I need to do that for? If I am telling people in my Prime account, look, I buy a pair of sneakers and Nike trainers for four pound, or five pound or eight pound and selling that for 29.99 i'm making profit of 10 to 15 pound i'm telling them in my prime account why can i do that in the same with my drop shipping why would anybody get upset because i'm making 10 pounds or 20 pounds profit on drop shipping why would that be the case because they may get upset because physically I am not going to the shops or car boot sale or thrift store or charity shop, whatever, to pick up the, the item physically. I may be the same set for I am researching in the computer, you know, hours after hours, finding this product, putting up in my site, selling it, making a couple of pounds here and there profit. So why would they be upset for? Nobody will get upset, right? They're happy that they will come to your shop, they will see the product, they will buy it. Simple as that. There's no need for them to get upset. Even if they find out you, you, you bought the item for Argos and you flock to them, well, because if they knew they could get in Argos, they would have gone to Argos. 
If they knew they could get it from Amazon, they would go to Amazon. If they knew they can go to uh, Walmart, or uh, we have Asda here. Asda is owned by Walmart, by the way. They will go to Walmart or Tesco's or whatever we have in the UK, you know. So they don't know this. Right. So, so people don't get upset if you tell them the truth. Be honest up front. And they like you. And if they like you, they buy into you, they will buy from you. Simple as that. There is no issue, to be honest up front. Rather than telling people, oh, this, that, and then they find out, oh, somebody else's. So what if, if your package turns up in Amazon packaging? So what? You've you supplied, you used third party, so what? Because they come to your site and they bought it from you, they are obliged to pay for it, they don't care. Hardly nobody cares if you tell them the upfront, so don't worry about it. Right, so that's why in all this series I'm going to honestly show you everything. Because I'm showing everything on my prime site, so why can't I show you on my dropping, drop site, um, dropshipping website? I will show you everything as the time goes by and so please 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 bear with me watch to the end of those videos and I don't want to go on bang on about or click this click that subscribe my channel and do this you will do all the good kind of things anyway because you know if you find this video is giving you a bit of you know nuggets here if I'm telling you up from the truth, you will obviously will subscribe to the channel. I do not need to tell you to subscribe. If I'm if I'm offering you some you know I'm giving something back to you, why wouldn't you subscribe to my, my channel? Or why wouldn't you click the like button? I do not need to go and bang on about click the like button or subscribe or nothing like that. I have another channel, a cooking channel, that has 14,500 subscribers. I hardly tell them anything. They come in because I give them the content they want. So hopefully in this um, channel, I also would like to give you everything I know, share with you, and we can all share. Because there is enough fish in that tank or on a fish in the water for everybody to share. There is no need to hide anything. You know? And yeah. Even though I may tell you what I saw on a dropshipping, you may get the information but you may not act on it. But you may not sell it. Even though I give you the I might sell it because I have a different technique or different know how. You may not have the same skill set mindset or same skill of selling. So you have to bear in mind. Right. So if you think if you like those videos or like anything, all I'm gonna suggest, instead of those gurus, they're suggesting that you go and buy their products. I will suggest I will leave a link down there, an Amazon link, an eBay link. If you're buying anything from Amazon or if you buy anything, any product from eBay or Amazon, please go through my link and end of the day, if you buy a, any product where you buy, it doesn't have to be. You can, if you're doing a shopping on Amazon, if you're doing shopping on eBay, if you do buy anything, please go through my link and I will end up getting a bit of commission. Then next time, I appreciate that. And sorry, some of these videos do not is not coming across as professional. I am not a professional guy, you know. And in eBay terms, people, you are watching me because you want to get some nuggets. You're not interesting how I look, how I talk. It's relevant. It's what I am telling you. That's what you are interested in. 
you're not interested in all this spanking, you know, brand new studios or lighting or this or that. All you're interested is what I have to offer to you and in turn what you have to learn from me and what I have to learn from you. So please make sure you comment on that. The comment is on a video is very important. Then I know what I'm going, what I'm doing. Right. So as I said before, I will tell as it is, I will tell you guys and girls as I'm going along. And together we can build a nice business. You know, I'll be proud if you tell me you followed my path and you, you've been successful. I'm I'm not going to claim I've been a very successful in eBay, but I have. I've been selling for 14 years, so I must be doing something right. And to check it out, I will always leave a link for my Prime account. And the new account of our dropshipping, I will slowly introduce that the following videos so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm be, I only been trading for about um, less than three months. So I've not even been accepted by eBay as a credible seller on my second account yet. So in the next video, I will show you what sort of pitfall I'm going through. So thank you so much for watching this video and all of my video. And the only thing you do, I'll, I'll ask you if you do buy anything from, if you do shop online, whether Amazon or eBay, please go through my links. Thank you so much.